Hey everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com coming to you after the close. Actually, it's a little late tonight, later than what I normally get these things done. It's a few minutes before 8 o'clock East Coast time. It's October 23rd, 2012. And before we get started, I need to remind you that I can't talk. www.SP500Chart.com in this video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended to be used as investment advice. High control lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research, and you need to make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I'm not a licensed financial professional, just a guy that draws lines on charts, and here we go. Starting off, looking at a 30-minute chart, and lo and behold, our line broke. The purple line did break and we are left with yet another kind of what I would call like a little triple top that um, that did the expected thing now in all honesty um, it could have rallied back and taken out this top line right here but the failure to meet this line I think I mentioned this, that that's kind of, that's a little bit of, um, what shall we say, the failure to meet this line right here showed a little underlying weakness, I think. So if we'd come up to, to meet this line, then sold back halfway, then you're thinking, wow, you know, this may come back and then take it out. But instead, we bounced off this bottom line strongly, came up, and turned over before we could get back up to the previous resistance levels. So as we look at the market now, by the way, you can see that this little descending inter um, pattern, intra pattern line uh, did have uh, some say in what was going on as the market rallied up to that line. Now, had we had we rallied up, and I mentioned this yesterday, had the market opened and then gotten over this line, then that would have been a signal that, that this looks like it's ready to move on up to at least back test probably this light orange line. But not the case. Instead, we get a, a significantly down day. And then as we look at what happened throughout the rest of the day, we may indeed be looking at a um, bear flag. And if we are, it would be looking... Why did that line... I hate it when that happens. We'd be looking at something like this. So here's what I think we can do going forward into tomorrow's session. I think we can look at this little pattern right here because there have been times when these patterns have served as little reversals. But usually they do what you would expect them to do, and that is break down. And if that's the case, then it's looking pretty strong that, uh, that we go down and test that 1400, 13, high 1390s level. Additionally, I want to go ahead and draw a preliminary line sort of like that. And I think I'm pretty comfortable in saying that if we get a rally, because this shows really that this is a one, two, three, four day um, downward move so far. And what's kind of interesting is it's almost picking up steam, almost like it is a downward, I don't want to say broadening pattern, because really, t technically, those things are not supposed to exist. You're not supposed to get broadening bottoms. You're supposed to get broadening tops. But here's what where it looks like we're getting some support and some resistance. So let's just see what happens on the next attack of this line. I think if we get over this line right here, and since we don't have anything in bright green, we're gonna make this bright green. So 
So there you have it. I, I'm pretty comfortable saying that if the market rallies over this green line right here, then then there's a decent chance that that would sh clue us in that this selling is uh, potentially over. Now, one thing you need to know, since we are looking at this as a triple top, we're nowhere near the minimum expected target. If we measure the height of this pattern, and I'm doing it right there in the dead middle of it, dead center, just to let you know, the pattern says 1382. But I, I've i got this little sneaking feeling that this 1390s line may prevent that from happening. And, the, and I say that only because that line is an area that has been tested numerous times back in August. And by the way, another reason for this little bounce today may very well be some gap support from back in early September. If we, if we snap a um, horizontal line down here, looky there right at the spot where the S&P broke out over this little uh, descending resistance line here. That is where we got that initial bounce today. But if you look at the size and the height of this pattern, it's I, I don't think that will hold. As a matter of fact, I would expect a move at least to the high 1390s and possibly um, it, it is possible that we go on down and we hit the minimum here. And if we do that, then that's going to cause me to, to kind of rethink the potential for this being a head and shoulders top with this being the neckline. Because honestly, right now, the neckline cannot be accurately defined until you have the low point that started the formation of the head and the low point that started the formation of the right shoulder. So if this is a head and shoulders top in formation, um, we don't have that second point that we would look at as being the definitive neckline. So I, I want to throw that out. This is a line that should provide some horizontal support. But if this little triple top pattern insists upon completing its pattern and getting down even into the low 1380s, then I think we need to revisit what this neckline might be looking like. But you can see once again, clearly, this um, rising channel that had been working for one, two, three, four months before we hit this little topping pattern, this has reversed now. To what degree, I do not know. We have a lot of support in and around the, the, the 1330s, 1320s. And just between you and me and the signpost, I would really love to see the market get there. And then show us a willingness to bounce back up. Because if it does, my feeling is, is that the next rally would, could run from the 1320s where we are right here all the way up into the 1500s then we would then we would start looking at the potential um, for this being a, a an even larger topping pattern so guys that is it for uh, October 23rd just to recap for the for the short term look at this little pattern right here if this if this line breaks down then I'm thinking uh, a, a, a pretty safe bet that we're going to get down at least to the high 1390s. And, uh, and if that horizontal line breaks, then, then this uh, triple top pattern actually has a target in the low 1380s. But watch this little line right here. If you're looking for a bullish case, watch this. If this line breaks, then uh, that, that, that will likely signal at least an intermediate or, sh or excuse me, at least a short-term trend that would be once again positive. 
I, I don't think I don't think it would be positive for the long haul um, because I really think the market needs to sell off down to some important support levels and pick you know weed some of these sellers out of here and and uh, then maybe going into the uh, end of the year start of the year with uh, what's looking more and more like a probable Romney uh, administration that could serve as the impetus with the perceived friendliness to business to uh, to give the market at least one more good rally. So look, guys, that is it for the 23rd. Thank you for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves.